Okay, now if you are given a signal, okay, periodic sequence, okay. If you are given a periodic sequence, so that is very important, okay. Periodic sequence, sequence, periodic sequence, okay. You should be able to find the discrete time complex um, exponential Fourier series representation. Okay. Now this part you should be able to do. Okay. So in the repeated sequence, first you have to find the uh, <clears throat> period, fundamental period in mod, then using the identities. Okay. So identity is six n can be represented as a sum of complex exponential term with the weightage e to the power j k omega naught n. Okay. So this k from 0 to n naught minus 1 is enough in discrete time case. Okay. And omega naught is given as 2 pi divided by n naught. Okay. So now you should be familiar with this one. Okay, and also you can evaluate this CK, okay, 1 over N naught sigma, here N from 0 to N naught minus 1, Xn, e to the power minus JK omega naught N, okay. So using these two identities, you should be able to find the discrete time complex exponential Fourier series representation of a given signal, okay. So this part you should be able to do. Still, if you couldn't do, it, it will be a problem, okay? So what you have to do is, you have to do more example, okay? The <clears throat> two reference books are there, okay? So you can do, uh, there are some example, you can do them, okay? If you have any problem, you can come and ask me, okay? So that is how you can understand this, okay? If you are not working, uh, you will not be understand. You will not be able to understand this. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to work this. You, you have to work on this. Okay. Then this subject uh, will be easy for you. Okay. Okay. Now I will do only one example related with uh, Fourier series representation. Okay. So uh, try to understand this. Okay. So this kind of questions I haven't done before, okay? So uh, I will explain how to do if you are given, okay, for example, let's say that you are given this kind of signal. Xn is equal to pi u plus cos, uh, let's say that uh, to pi u, um, to pi u, O n plus three sine two pi. Let's say that three. Okay. So let's say that if you are given this kind of signal, okay, this kind of signal, okay, and you are asked to find that, you are asked to find that, you are asked to find the Fourier series representation, okay. Actually, you are asked to find the <clears throat> complex exponential Fourier series representation. Okay. So, how we can do this? Okay. The Mevaki signal lab do not perform the Fourier series representation. Okay. So, first thing is <clears throat> don't use this formulas. Okay. Don't use these formulas. It will be difficult if you use this formula. Okay. So, <clears throat> so uh, if I expand this formula, if I expand this formula, okay, expand this formula, okay, now k from 0 to n naught minus 1, so k, so I, I can, I can substitute different k value from 0 to n naught minus 1 for this k, k is here and k is here. Then I can expand this. This is a summation. Okay. This, this mark indicate that there is a summation. That summation is from 0 to n naught minus 1. When the summation summation 
C2. Next time k is equal to 0. So C2 e to the power j 2 omega naught n. Next time C3, k is equal to 3. So C3 e to the power j 3 omega naught n. So on up to n naught minus 1, n naught minus 1. So final will be C n naught minus 1 e to the power j n j k k is n naught minus one omega naught n okay so you will have this kind of series this kind of expression if you have expand this this uh, equation okay you will have this one okay then you can find this c naught c one c two up to c n naught minus one using this identity, this CK identity, you can calculate that, okay? So we have seen how to calculate this C naught value, okay? So you, now you can see that if you expand this, okay, for a Fourier series coefficients, you have some complex exponential terms with some weighted, okay? Okay, so that is the Fourier series uh, expansion. The collection of complex exponential terms, okay, complex exponential terms uh, with the, with some multiply, okay. So that is the Fourier series representation, okay. In this case, e to the power j zero omega naught, that means it is e to the power zero, okay. So any value zero power is one, okay? So this will be one. So C naught plus C one e to the power like this. So, so you will get this kind of expression, okay? And here now you can see that in this one, okay? There is no any frequency component. Frequency is zero. This is frequency, this frequency is one omega naught. This, for this term, this frequency component is two omega naught. For this one, three omega naught. This one n naught minus one omega naught. These are the frequency component, okay? So now you can see that for these terms, this frequency component is zero. So this is the zeroth frequency component, okay? So normally we call it zeroth harmony, or what is this? This is called what? Make a mukad again. Zeroth harmony ke kahari mukad? This we call zero harmonic for what? Make it up again, zero harmonic again. Make it up again. Make it up again. Make it up again. Someone practical here on a make a mock. Some of the signal generator again, may work a signal like a gun. No, all right. You get a may work a cat curl again. May work a value. You thought you get a gun mock killer. Can make a voltage with the regard to the same or AC voltage. Make a AC voltage. If you make a mono voltage, make a alternative voltage, and you make a mugger. This is not AC voltage. This is this is what? Look at the name. Make 
এখানে ওটা সিগন্যাল জেনারেটর বলি সিগন্যাল রং মানে আরে তাহলে এই ভাগে সিগন্যাল লেয়ার ডট করতে আমি এই এসি সিগন্যাল দেব নে আরে মেকআপ এসি সিগন্যাল দেই তাহলে এই ভাগে সিগন্যাল লেয়ার আমরা পাবো মেকআপ এসি সিগন্যাল লেয়ার নিয়ে মেকআপ করতে দেই মেক মনো ভোল্টেজ আর মেক এন এন্ড ব্যাক কেকিং ভাগে কেকিং এন্ড মেক পাওয়ার সাপ্লাই কেকিং এন্ড মে ভাগে এটা এক কনস্ট্যান্ট ভোল্টেজ ছিল আরে এই ওয়েল মিনাস সেল নেই তাহলে মেক মিনাস সেল this are changing with respect to tongue and also the polarization the direction of the voltage is also changing but here the voltage is constant only what is we call this this is what this is a dc voltage and we called it dc component then the name of it again a dc component okay so this zero harmonic is the dc component okay so in your series DC component also may be possible. Okay. DC component may be there or not. We don't know. Okay. Sometimes DC component is there. Sometimes DC not will be zero. Okay. That means there is no DC component. Okay. Then we'll have C not can be going. Again, then zero uh, DC component and again. Okay. Okay. Okay, now if you are given this kind of signal, this kind of signal, you know that you see the Euler formula, okay? You know the Euler formula, okay? So, Euler formula is like something like this, okay? It is like this, okay? Ej theta is equal to cos theta plus j sin theta. In E minus J theta is equal to cos theta minus J sin theta. This is the Euler formula. Okay. Now, if you add them together, okay, let's say that this is one and this is two. If you add these together, cos theta, now J sin theta, J sin theta cancel out. Cos theta, cos theta, it will be two cos theta. Okay. Now, two cos theta is equal to E j theta plus e minus j theta okay now if you want to find cos theta okay if you want to find cos theta so cos theta will be equal to e to the power j theta divided by 2 e to the power minus j theta divided by 2 now you can see that first term can be expressed as a sum of complex exponential terms in the same manner sin theta also you can represent like this what you have to do is you have to subtract two from this one okay so if you get one minus two this cos theta cos theta cancel <coughs> j sin theta minus minus j sin theta j sin theta minus minus j sin theta minus minus means plus okay so it will be j sin theta plus j sin theta okay so it will be two j sin theta 2j sin theta is equal to ej theta minus e minus j theta. Okay. Now sin theta is equal to ej theta minus e minus j theta divided by 2j. This is the sin theta. Now you can see that sin terms also can be represented as a collection of complex exponential term, okay? I will separate the denominator, ej theta divided by 2j, this is also ej divided by 2j. Okay. So this is a cos theta and this is the sine theta, okay? So now you can see that here also you have cos theta and sine theta, then what you, what you have to do is you can get This uh, you can represent this cos theta, cos theta, as a collection of complex exponential terms, and also this sine theta. Using this one, you can represent it as a collection of exponential terms. Okay, so that is the Fourier series representation. Okay, so using Euler formula, 
you can directly express this kind of one. If you have sign terms, cos terms, as well as DC terms, okay? So you no need to go through the principal effort. That means you no need to use these identities, okay? These identities, okay? You can directly find the, you can directly find the Fourier series representation using this yellow form. Okay. Okay. But before that, you need to find the fundamental theory. You need to find the fundamental period of this signal. Period of this signal. So, how to find the fundamental theory of this signal? Okay. So, those are discussed in signal and systems. Okay. For continuous time signal. Okay. Here also, we use the same procedure. Okay, to calculate the period. Okay, now I will tell you the step. Try to understand them. Okay, so first of all, you need to get two sign terms, sign or cosine terms. Okay, now in this case, we have only two. Okay, so you can take these two. Okay, so you can consider this as one sinusoidal signal, x1. This says another sinusoidal signal x2. Okay, so I will write it here. Okay. So, first thing is you are given this signal for you. Cos to n plus 3 sin to 3 n. So this two, so this signal is given. Okay, so this signal is given. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to get uh, so, so first at first, so okay, so there may be some other sign up sign terms and cos terms. Okay. So any any number of terms can be there. So first thing you have to select two terms. Okay, in this case you have two terms. Okay, then you can take this as one term. Let's say that x one. This has this is another term. Let's say that it is x two. Okay, so you can you can separate. Okay, so if you consider x one signal. Okay, x one signal. X one signal. Let's say that x one n. Okay, okay. So anyone can tell me. What is the normalized? So this is a discrete signal. This is a discrete signal. Okay. So the frequency is normalized here. In sampling, we have discussed this. Okay. So maybe you can see, remember, if we have a signal like this, 2 pi ft ft. Okay. And if you sample this signal using another uh, frequency, sampling frequency, let's say that fs. Okay. So, your con the continuous signal will become sine 2 pi u. This f divided by fs. This is the sampling frequency, fs. Okay. Fs n. Okay. So, this is the frequency of the discrete time signal and it is f divided by fs. Okay. So, this is we called as normalized frequency. f divided by fs. Okay. F divided by fs. Okay, so this is normally referred as a normalized frequency. Normalized frequency. Why? Because it is normalized to the sampling frequency. The, the signal is divided by the sampling frequency. Okay, so we say this frequency is normalized to sampling frequency. F divided by fs. Okay, so that is we call this a normalized frequency. Okay, so can you tell me what is the normalized frequency of x1? Let's say that it is f1. Okay. So what is f1? That is the normalized frequency of x1. What is that? Now you know. What is that? I need the answer.
मेरे को ना तो कटेर बाला नहीं पुला मेरे का दिहा बाला किया ना पुला मुकद्दर में आगे नॉर्मलाइज़ फ्रीक्वेंसी के किया दें मेरे का माता करने का माता किया ने मामा दरी के लिए बा तो वो तो हरी माता के नॉन मुकद्दर में मेरे मुकद्दर में आप एक ओड़ा करा हरी इंटरेक्शन पास हो लेती इट पास से मैं हो लेती मैं आमिया क्लब बॉलिंग कर ले बैलू आप ही ने वो कब दे मैं आगे नॉर्मलाइज्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी मैं मैं टाइम में के बिता रखा तो ते हैं ये आगे नॉर्मलाइज्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी का मुकाद दोगा इसका नॉर्मलाइज्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ़ दिस सिग्नल कल क्या? कल मैं क्विकली Yeah, actually, uh, you answer you 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 give the period. Okay, you gave the period. That is the period of the signal, not the normalized frequency. Okay. So what is the normalized frequency? Thank you for the answer. Okay, now you can understand it. If you give a, yeah, very good. Okay. So that is the normalized frequency. Okay. Because uh, you can you can you can compare with this, okay? So if you are given this kind of signal, okay, if you are given this kind of signal, sine sine to pi of t, and if you sample it using FS. Now the sampling frequency, so your signal will be 2 for you f divided by fs. So this is the continuous time signal and this is the discrete time signal, sample signal. Okay. So this one is the sample signal. This one is the sample signal. This one. Okay. This one. Sine 2 for you f divided by fs. Okay. Now this terms, if it is take this term that is the frequency of the signal and it is a normalized frequency to for you next term that is the normalized frequency okay. so here the normalized frequency is this four this four normalized frequency then if the normalized frequency is four what is omega one that is the period sorry sorry n one let's say that n one Let's one. Let's say that the period of this signal is n one. Okay, period of this signal is n. So what is the n one? Okay, what is n one? So if this is frequency, you know that one over frequency is the period. Okay. So in this case also, one over normalized frequency is the period. So what is the period? What is the period for this signal? Please answer. This is the normalized frequency of this signal. Sorry, sorry. Normalized frequency is four. What is the period of this signal? X one. Very simple. What is that? Please give me an answer to proceed. Yes, what about others? Okay. 
Okay. So what do you think? What is the answer? In one more page. Normalized frequency. The main one is the frequency. Copy the theme to see I heard. Period again. Make it a to see. It is a period. Common sense. Okay. Akata to see a more period again. The method of normalized frequency. A hotter and period. The key of in one. Normalized frequency का हाथ लगाना period देगा ये ना one hour period भी नहीं one hour frequency नहीं इन one is equal to one hour f one so that is one hour four that is equal to zero point two five but don't write it like this okay so this step is in okay don't uh, simplify it up to decimal value okay so keep it as a ratio if it has a ratio, don't simplify it up to a decimal value. That is very important. Okay. Now, if you consider x2 wave, now tell me quickly, okay, what is the normalized frequency of this signal? X2 signal. Tell me quickly, let's say that it is f2. What is the normalized frequency of this signal? <coughs> <coughs> Yes, uh, what about others? The Adamatar may make the Habalan Hitiana, the Loku Avadana Pun. You doesn't be what the Rumakavashana put the Koka Avadanitian Hitiana. Okay. If you pay your attention on this, okay. Make a normalized frequency a mature in them. You can take a balala, make a normalized frequency a key and pull. Here. Better look who they will name, look at the other daddy that he not a mammy, a mari will be in look at it. Make a pama frequency, normalized frequency again. I mean, I get make a win on me. May I normalized frequency at three? Then tell me what is the period? Let's say that it is into what is the period of this signal x2? What is the period of x2? Yes, okay. Uh, and uh, please remember, don't simplify it up to, so it will be 1 over 3. It will be 1 over 3. Don't simpli simplify this up to decimal value, okay? Don't simplify this up to decimal value. Decimal value will be Okay? So this is the answer. Okay? Please give me a moment, okay? <coughs> 